how weird you feel on a scale of one to ten uh, definitely ten <laughs> well, the, the thing is we could be someone else right now doing a voiceover Ooh. and they wouldn't even know maybe we are we could be special guests <laughs> <laughs> and they wouldn't know now nah, that's a Lloyd Batcher cough they knew that first <laughs> Welcome back to the Lonely Boy Hours. <laughs> we actually always deliver. Whenever we say we do something, we always do it. No, we don't. <laughs> we never deliver. This is the first time. This is our Halloween special. Our Halloween spooky special. Just the squid game. Squid game officers. So, what episode is this? I think this is six, seven. Seven. So we'll do it. We're, we're going places. We it. did promise a Halloween special. I'm taking this mask off. My nose is being squished. squished. Squashed. There's no. Squished. There's no place. <gasps> Face reveal. Face Ooh. reveal. Oh, welcome back, guys. <laughs> Are you keeping yours on the whole time? Yeah. The whole time? No. The whole, whole time? time. <laughs> no, I'm going to take it off. <laughs> oh. the, the thing is, it squishes your nose. And I found that last night. There's It like protrudes here. I've got a fat nose. Oh. you got a fat nose. you got... You're just no I wasn't saying that I was just repeating what you said I wasn't saying you had a fat nose new background new house new house we moved in finally we moved in a new apartment how what do you rate the apartment out of 10 10 no Absolutely. no maybe like it oh no I rate it a 10 really? well this is like this is my first time moving out like you've been to uni how many houses have you lived in before three two two, two. and then the weatherman has lived in halls that first house, the second, second house, house, and then the, his yeah four. four. So this is his fifth house. That's crazy. That is crazy. That is weird. But this is my first house, and it's a movie. It's not even a house. It's a flat yeah. apartment. Apartment. It's peng. It's so nice. We've got nice big windows, sea view, the lot. What more could you ask for? Your cheeks in the morning. Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. How did you find the move? Good. Simple. Not for me. Why not? I was on high alert driving down. Yeah. The whole time. The whole time. The whole time. <laughs> I was on high alert. So we put, we managed to put my, everything that I brought and everything you bought in my car, which includes like a desk, computers, MacBook. clothes, everything we had. Gate, chair, gaming chairs, chair, singular. And, uh, that my car the axle was it was on its last legs and it was heavy driving that's the heaviest i've ever driven anything and i used to be an amazon delivery driver Ooh. and I, that just felt <laughs> <laughs> what i was just saying that felt heavy like you were your chair was so far forward as well and bolt up right bolt up right after when everything was out of the car i sat in it yeah. and i was like how have you managed to do that for like two hours it was fun. The was excitement fun. and adrenaline got me through it. Mm -hmm. It did feel weird, like driving. It was just like, we're leaving our life behind <laughs> to start a new one. <laughs> Together. We Forever. ran away. Forever. Uh, no, I'm probably going to go back to Oxford in a couple of weeks. <laughs> <laughs> just to check up on him. Make yeah. sure we're holding it up. We've been here a week now. Yeah, a week. My nan called me today and was like, how is it? How's the week been? And it's been a good week. We didn't do much. No, we didn't uh, do a moving in vlog. We'll do a house tour instead. We'll do that. We'll do, it's we'll, the same. Yeah, we'll do. We filmed six minutes of stuff last night. To be fair, we did. I think, yeah, but the reason why we didn't do a moving in vlog is because the car was packed. Like, you just couldn't move it. And we left at half six. Yeah, we got here late at night. It wasn't we, like... No, we got here very late. And it was tipping down with rain. The weather when we got here was terrible. Like, it was like wind which is the worst weather <laughs> and then there was Rain. rainy as fuck the worst weather the worst weather did i park my car away on the first night i feel like i did yeah yeah we went and found your ratchet spot with yeah, Gwion. My, my ratchet spot i'm so scared about my car i brought an air tag yeah you'll be fine you got an air tag i got an air tag i'm fine i check it three times a day so it's all good. really yeah it's all good. oh sugar we said we were going to drive it today because of what well, battery might die <laughs> We can drive it later. Yeah. We can go to Audi if you want in Winton. I don't mind. <laughs> we just had like the, most, a conversation. the most off topic conversation. Yeah, we'll, we'll do that. We'll do that. We'll do that. We can get some bakeries as well for the morning. Ooh, we went. Oh, we have the breakfast club every morning. You don't want to miss it. The breakfast club is alive and well. Is it? No. 
No, I just sit there and eat. No, I I find it really wholesome though. What are we just Free going boys. to the kitchen at eight thirty? You need coming coming in the kitchen to work. <laughs> the sun the sun is there, so it's always really nice feeling in this kitchen in the morning. It's always warm. We haven't put the heat oh, on in eight days we've been here. That's what I was so confused about. In October, I'm boiling hot all the time. All the time. My and I always sorry. <laughs> sorry, Lord Karen. I always have my window open. Is that what you're gonna say? Yeah, always. Yeah, and it still doesn't feel no. cold. It's weird. Talking of the window. Yeah. Oh man, this is annoying. Genuinely, what? what this is the only thing I don't like. I'm used, used. I'm used, used, used to yeah. Used, yeah, I'm used to used. leaving the door open when I poo. Yeah, why? What? Cause it's like, yeah, because it's like it's in a it's in a part of the house where there's no one. It's that like no one's gonna walk around. It's my parents. If they come upstairs, I can just shut the door. Like, I'm very casual with it. <laughs> He's slick with it. <laughs> Bro's closed a few doors in his time. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm opposite a student accommodation like my windows face opposite student accommodation they all do yeah and we we can see them they can see us which I've been trying to work out when I walk to Tesco it's like are the windows doubled doubled up don't know why I winked at you don't know why I winked back <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean doubled up like, double are glazing they, are they blacked window they blacked out big t-shirt big really eyelash. eilish no they're not Okay, because they are they, slightly tinted, yeah. Because um, every time I go to the toilet, it's just a reaction to just sit down, and that for some reason that toilet makes my legs spread. It's quite low. That sounded so weird. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm like, I'm like, my legs are like here, like yeah. apart, and um, and I was just on it, like on my phone, like this for ages, and then I heard because my window was open. I heard someone scream, like a girl or something, like so you thought they'd see play, you playing tag outside or something. <laughs> yeah. So I was like, "Who's in my room?" I looked up, and there's just like people having dinner, and I'm like, <laughs> "Oh my god!" Your choppers on the floor. <laughs> <laughs> but I just had to do that awkward, like get up, holding holding your privates, and shut the door, grabbing the wood. <laughs> Lloyd, don't visualize. We it, went man. out last night as well. It was a movie. How do you feel today? I feel fine. When I woke up, rough. It was like two minutes of like this is agony. Okay. I was like, this is really really bad. Okay. But um, after the two minutes, like I I went to the toilet and I was fine. With the my door teeth. open. With the door shut, actually, ah. Lloyd. I'm getting used to it now. A week ah. in. But isn't it weird? Like we've done a week. We've only got fifty one more of these left. Well, fifty because we moved in a week late. That's that, weird. We're two weeks into our tenancy. That pisses me off. Yeah, it pisses me off as well, but there's we, nothing we can do about it. Yeah. Uh, it was there was no point arguing. No, Basically We're here now. We're here. It took we ten actually months. got it. Yeah, it took ten months. We got this. It way. took ten months. This was the very first place that when we were looking at it, we were like, This shit is the nuts. <laughs> this shit is the nuts. This nut this shit's Let crazy. me shit in your nuts. Jesus, maybe. <laughs> Um, but we've looked at some ratchet places, uh, horrible places, and we didn't even get them. <laughs> and then, and every time in the last like three months, we go to a place, and we're like, "This is the one." There was like two, I think, where you were like, "This is the one," and then I think the weatherman put this one in the chat, and me and you both were like, "No chance, we're no chance." That. Yeah. Why? What's? What? Why even put your hopes up? It's the first one we said, "No chance." Yeah. So. We literally said, "There's not a single." No way. Look at us now. We're in, we're in it, baby. Ah. We're living a high life. Oh, no, our place is so... This is... I was saying to my mum and dad, like, this is the place... I feel like the perfect place for someone to move out after they've left home for the first time. Yeah. It's just so, Convenient. Like, convenient. Everything is... Uh, one of the things I said to you is like... Oh, we got to get it here. There's a McDonald's, yeah. there's a KFC, there's a Domino's. We haven't had a takeaway yet, and we won't no. for a long time. I We're cooking think... incredible meals, to be fair. The pizza's at Asda, two for five pound. Quite the deal. Bro, I just said we're cooking good meals, and then you said pizza. <laughs> we're making nice stuff. The, 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 what's, your, what's been your favorite meal we've made so far? The pasta thing. That was very nice. I think, yeah. Yeah. Your Korean chicken was a, is a dark horse. I really do like that. But I feel... If I'm being a critique, yeah. I feel like there needs to be some like sauce, but Korean, they don't do that, do they? What do you mean? There's five sauces that make that one sauce. Yeah, but it's like, like a, like, like a, almost like a gravy, Thick. like yeah, a gravy, like yeah. a sort of, not obviously a gravy. sauce on the sauce. You know how um, in Oxford, on George Street, 
what's that Chinese place called with like the it's like a takeaway place okay, they do okay. Korean food and did you say it's a Chinese and they do Korean food <laughs> <laughs> did you actually just say that <laughs> oh my god that is shocking there's this Mexican down the street they do curries and uh, basically <laughs> That's so bad. Oh, that is, I That's can't jokes. believe I messed up that bad. That is jokes. Um, I didn't even realise. Where were you going with that? I've already forgotten. No, I forgot. But we this stemmed from going out last night. Yeah. <coughs> it was actually really fun. I mean, we went to Spoons. And then? And then a We went to a bar, yeah. We were trying to play it down. And we dragged Guy on out, who had two hours sleep, but now he's at work. Which oh, is shocking. Geez. I had a dream that he uh, didn't get to work. I had a dream I watched Black Adam and I told you that six of the characters <laughs> yeah. were missing. I was like, where are they? <laughs> I don't even know like what the plot was or anything. I just remember seeing Dwayne Johnson in my dream. And then I was like, where's Pierce Brosnan? Where where's so and so? None of them were just was, in the film. Was it a good film though? No, I don't know. I can't remember <laughs> it. I just remember being like, where are they? That's all I remember. And then I remember I uh, hugged someone from someone from our secondary school was in my dream and I just gave him a hug. <laughs> <laughs> That's all I remember. Who I just gave them, I Is it in our year? Yeah, they're in our year. Yeah, it's a girl in our form. Is it the one? No. <laughs> we're making everyone in our form. Like oh, no, they weren't in our form. Oh. They're in my form. They're in my form in sixth form. They weren't in our form oh, from I year see, seven to 11. Right. I don't know what form they're in. Like V? I, Ooh. Don't know. I actually don't know. Ooh. R? Ooh. They all blend into one. They Those those one, the, the, the forms on the other side of the year are always blend into one. Yeah, RST. Yeah. RST, UVW. Um... I genuinely offended someone last night. I don't know how I offended them because it's not I an offensive this. thing. You didn't see it? No. Did you see I, I me was, walk I was, over wait, I was waiting at the toilet. Yeah, I thought you could see it. That No, no, you weren't. You're at the bar. You're at the bar. Oh, it must have happened pretty quick then. Yeah, I walked straight over to the bar. What, what and then I was like, don't turn around. What did you do? Turn around. <laughs> and then you put your arm around me and kept leaning down going, what? What, what, what happened? I said, you're making it bait. Don't do it. And then you, you kept going even more. I was like, you're making it bait. <laughs> no, basically, I saw someone sat on their own. Sorry. I saw this person sat on their own and I don't know they looked kind of upset I don't really know to be honest I was pretty drunk but I thought I'd go over and just be really nice Aww. so I said <laughs> so I said um, I introduced myself we shook hands whatever and then I said your boyfriend's very lucky you shook hands yeah I always shake someone's hand I'm Lloyd. <laughs> oh, I didn't say it like that. Always shake someone's hand. Do you not shake people's no, hands? No, I shake people's exactly. hands. Exactly. No, I shook their hand and then I said your boyfriend's very lucky. I didn't know if they had a boyfriend or not. Yeah. And I've never seen someone look genuinely so annoyed with an assumption in my life. She was like, why are you assuming I have a boyfriend? And I was like, I literally hit the panic button. I was literally like, I don't know. Like, I was just assuming. But I was too drunk to really care. So I was like... um, <laughs> he's just very lucky and I just walked away what? I just turned around and just walked away and left it at that she got the ick Lloyd probably I, did, I, I find it fucking hilarious <laughs> <laughs> why is she so annoyed I, maybe is it I feel like I, I feel like I know the answer but what I'm about to say just won't make sense okay try it so you know how you like some people have the look of having a boyfriend no never thought of it like that like if you like you can be significantly better looking if you're single that's the what? Vi- that's the vibe i have heard in the grapevine what do you mean what's twitter so unbelievably good looking girls are always single is that what you're saying kind of yeah okay that's, she was very attractive that's like the stereotype so for you to assume that like she has a boyfriend must mean that she's not good looking i've yeah. never heard that in my life i've heard that really yeah, yeah but sure. maybe i should have heard of it maybe i did genuinely offend her yeah she's... i called her clapped inadvertently <laughs> without even meaning to uh that that place that we went to Ar- aruba yeah. topped everything in oxford yeah i feel like oxford's okay when you're not from oxford <sighs> Maybe. Like loads of people go there for uni, obviously. Yeah. Brooks is popular. Yeah, but you ask any Brooks student, like, where's your favourite nightclub? And they'll go, oh, um, f- fishies. The, yeah, or the like, SU probably. Yeah, the SU, like, like, uh, yeah, bridge, bridge and attic. Attic? Oh. Oh, the oh. bridge is 
Wor- I don't know what's worse, actually. No, Bridge is better than Attic. Last two times we've been to Bridge no, have been the two worst the nights is, out I've ever had in Oxford. If we went to Attic, though, they would have been a whole lot worse. You think? 100%. They've definitely been busy. Attic, the bouncers just let in like 15, 16 year olds. But like, they are just a, it's a very youthful club. I like Bridge because of the, the garden. Yeah. That's that's a and the the smoking area at Aruba is nice. In yeah, the summer, the that's going to be a bro. The beach, boppy. you can literally you're on the beach. I'm confused what that place is. Is that a restaurant in the day? Uh, yeah, I think so. And then a bar. There's tables and everything. Yeah, and then it becomes a bar at night. I'm pretty yeah. sure. We might have to go there for a drink or two. Yeah, yeah. going to offend some more people. Yeah, uh, I, I I I like going out and speaking to people. Okay. What the fuck? <laughs> 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 so random why did I say like that such a weirdo no because it was like because we don't know anyone here we know Georgia yeah really nice obviously and that's it so speaking to people was just like oh you're literally just like a new person yeah but we didn't walk away from last night with like oh yeah any new oh no I didn't make, I didn't walk away we just like with offended anyone. people and yeah. said hello to people who told us dad jokes <laughs> Yeah, so some guy, that was funny, that some was funny. guy was like uh, just just looking at me and was like, "Oh, I know you, I know you," mm. and I was like, "Oh, like where?" And he was like, "Who do you play for?" Yeah, and I was like, "What?" And he was like, "Yeah, you, Bournemouth FC, right? <laughs> AFC Bournemouth." You thought you played for Bournemouth? Yeah, and I was like, "Do I look like I play for Bournemouth? <laughs> they've got they've got a game now. I swear they're playing now." Yeah, yeah I'm just at Aruba kick Night off before, at three yeah. o'clock tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> you should have just gone along with it. Oh, you should have chose someone you really don't look like. Callum Wilson. No, like Dom Solanke. He doesn't play for... <laughs> not anymore. He's at Fulham, yeah. Callum Wilson. I'm He's thinking of Harry Newcastle. Wilson. Yeah, I'm thinking yeah. of Harry Wilson. Harry Wilson. Harry Wilson. He went right to the very top. You should have, actually, yeah, you should have just chose someone who doesn't play for Bournemouth. Yeah. Yeah, Donny van der Beek. <laughs> <laughs> but no, I said that was a... That was a the, the people as well, just... I said, we're saying this. The quality of people. Quality of people. Yeah, like they're friendlier. Like people, in Oxford, it, you go out on a Saturday and it looks like everyone is angry with you. Like yeah. you can't you can't hear. It was like you could make eye contact with someone and someone would smile at you. Yeah. Even if it was a bloke. Like the I, I spoke to a lot of guys here and they were just being friendly with me. And in Oxford, I feel like everyone's really like, oh, you won't. Yeah, trying to prove a point. Yeah, trying to trying to be like a bigger person. Whereas here, they they were really happy to be like, "Oh, you're the new kid." <laughs> the new kid? How yeah. do they know you're the new kid? I'm the new kid on the block because you're actually such a mouth. I got introduced as the new kid. As the new kid, like I just got mute here. <laughs> Sometimes I forget we're recording. Yeah, <laughs> just like a normal, that's what you want it to be, though. Yeah, I have a topic. Do you have? I don't know why I wrote it down like this. Do you have game slash hinge profiles slash hinge? I do have hinge. Where that is the topic that I wrote down. Where am I, where are my hinge? I'll go, I'll go through my hinges. Uh, do you, are you, do you think you're good? Your game is good on the, on text. No. No, neither. I think mine is actually. I feel terrible. like it's hard to convey my humour over text without coming across as weird. Yeah. Yeah, you're worried if they're gonna take it. As- yeah, because like, I just I like I'd say stuff r- like random stuff hoping that they'd be running back and then you'd hit you with like a what do you mean yeah uh, what, what's that and you have to weird. explain it and my oh my to be fair I oh, actually don't worry what are you gonna say I was gonna say I've been speaking to someone on hinge here yeah and I saw them in the house the other day they just didn't look at me <laughs> <laughs> nervous game <laughs> nervous game so my profile how do I look at my profile fact about me that surprises people I've never had a Wagamama's or Greg's. That's still a lie. It, no, I've not had a Greg's. You, yeah, you had Wagamama's. I have Waggers. had a Wagamama's, yeah. yeah. But people just, that always gets clicks. People literally are like, what? Yeah. What? You've never had a Greg's, which I haven't. What's it? And then what else have you got? Um, what are your other two prompts? My love language is Mexican food. Okay. Fucking love it. <laughs> um, I'll introduce you to my family if. I won't. Yeah. Yeah. Standard. Yeah, Everyone has that. Class. And then I've got a picture of my coffee that I make. In your hinge profile? Why? People go fucking nuts over that. For your coffee? Yeah. Same what? They go, oh my God, that looks like one of the best coffee. Because that is one of the best coffees you've ever seen. That looks like it belongs on. I don't know. Your hand is three times bigger than the mug. So I don't know. That, think al- I'm getting that much. also gets a mention as well. 
a lot of little horny girls oh your hands are so big <laughs> they don't realize the mug's like yeah the, the mug is tiny and i'm like no <laughs> you're gonna be disappointed no your hands are quite big <laughs> big hands <laughs> Your hands are quite big. It, mm, I think they're just proportionate to. Yeah, you're me. quite big. Wait. What do you mean by that? What do you mean by that? Pause. Um, and yeah, that's literally I've got all I've got. I've got my Instagram. How do you start most conversations? What's your opening line? Is it a chat up line? Is it a uh, replying to their prompt? You know what? I, you know what? I I'm gonna go and have a look because no, mo- most of the time it's like it sounds really arrogant. But most of the time, it's them just saying, hey. If I was to... But that, is that, that must be because you've liked them, though. Yeah. So you, do you just sit there liking loads of people? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, I would reply to their prompt. So it's okay. like, it's bespoke what I got to say, you know? Okay. If it's, if it's like a place. Like, for some reason, I always see Calador. I've never seen it. Like, I've, I've, I think I've seen it maybe... 15 times in the last year that I've had Hinge, like people really? in Calador, yeah. So I always say like, is that Calador? And then that's like a conversation started, like it's kind of boring. I'll probably get slated in the yeah, comments. Yeah, we've got negative. Game. Yeah. Um, but yeah, what's, what's your game like? Terrible. <laughs> your boyfriend's so lucky. Yeah. I thought that was actually quite nice. I wasn't even trying it on with her either. I genuinely just said it and then walked away. <laughs> like I actually don't know what was going through my head. Oh, fucking hell. I find it so funny. I was literally giggling to myself when I was trying to sleep, just thinking about it. I was actually just sat there laughing. I watched a fucking haircut for an hour and 15 minutes this morning oh, yeah. when I woke up on TikTok. You came into the, uh, the breakfast club. At 2 p.m. <laughs> and you were like, I've just watched a bloke cut hair for an hour and a half. <laughs> One haircut. What? One skin fade. I oh, know, he was taking ages. He kept dancing and then changing his song. <laughs> it was weird. It was in Sweden. Shit, we got to get a haircut soon. Yeah. We need a barber to come up to To be fair, we bumped, we bumped into that barber last night. And I don't know how this happened. There were like three people he was with that had his hair, had their hair cut by him. Yeah. And it was like... Well, they're was, probably just all mates, no? Yeah, yeah, but it, it looked like it was... Marketing. Marketing. <laughs> it, was like, it, it was like, oh, you cut a hair? And he was like, look at this. And they, and they all just start spinning around. And I'm like, oh, okay, okay. Three models ready to go. Um, I don't know if he's. A, I don't think he's a mobile barber. I, I think mobile it's somewhere barber. like on the other side of town. But probably rents a chair. Yeah, but um, he, we'll it find look, It looked like he gives good cuts. Oh, sorry. Are we boring you? <laughs> You've yawned so many, bro. Yeah, Wait, but I, I hide it. <laughs> it's been a. It's been a short day. Yeah, we we're gonna have dinner in a minute. Yeah, we we woke up pretty late to be fair. We've, Very I've literally, late. I've literally just been in this room. I'd like to get out. I feel like we should drive somewhere. Let's get, eat first. Okay, eat your ass. Whoa! Mm, mm, mm. Let me get a slice of that. Why next? Huh? Carry you, on. I was gonna say, do you have any spooky stories as it's Halloween? Spooky. Surely you got some spooky topics. I've got that one of the house that we were both in when it was being burgled. But have we ever spoke about that? I don't think we have. I feel like we said it in a TikTok we, ages we've ago. We've touched upon it. But we didn't uh, We didn't actually speak about it. Okay. Well, I want to make it seem scary, but I don't know if my storytelling abilities will make it seem scary. Do you want me to say it? No. Because uh, I don't want to miss out on <laughs> import, any important We'll both bits. say it. You can start with what you remember. Okay. So we were playing football in Kidlington okay. with a bunch of people under the headlights Yeah. for ages. Yeah. And then... Uh, it got really, really late, like 1 or 2 a.m. And we were with this guy who was looking after somebody else's house. Yeah. And uh, so he had the keys, obviously. And then we drove past his house, their house, the person's house he was looking after. And one of the lights was on. And we were like, oh, you're an idiot. Why would you leave the light on? You got to go in and turn it off. And he was like, no, I went round in the day. Yeah. Like, why would I turn the light on in the day? And he was like, no, I'm convinced I didn't leave the light on. And then as we were like talking about it, the light just turns off. Yeah. And we were like, we all just froze. Like I remember all of us going, oh my God, there's someone in that house. That, yeah. We were just sat on the driveway. Yeah. Is that what happened, right? Yeah. yeah. That is what happened. Yeah. <laughs> that, that's what happened. We called the police from that moment. No, we went in. First? Yeah. We went in. What? Without even thinking about it. Nah, I swear we called the police first. Why would we have gone in? That's what I mean. I swear that's what 
No, if we called the police, why would we have gone in? We'd have just waited for the police. I think our stories don't match up. You say your story. <laughs> we went in first. The person we were with went upstairs. I thought he went and turned the light off. I don't know if it turned off when we were watching it or if he no, went and turned it, it off. it turned off when we were watching it. And then he went upstairs. We were just, And then all three of us were just stood in the kitchen after that. Just like chatting shit, trying to be really funny. Dropping our full names and everything. No. That's, that's after the police. We called the police twice. You think? Yeah. So what happened was we were in the car and we called the police. As soon as the light turned off, we called the police and we were like, someone's in that house. And we went in with the police came. We went in with the police. We checked all the rooms. We checked all the doors. But when the police was checking the rooms, well, he wasn't going in, obviously, because he was scared as well. He's human. Because I remember he, the checking the room was just him opening the door and looking around. We remember this. Uh, we were no, 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 16 no, at the but time. This, this, I swear to God, this is how it happened. Like, because nothing had happened at this point. When we went upstairs with the policeman, yeah. we were just looking around the rooms like this. And he was like, yep, no one's in here where yeah. they could be behind a door in the cupboard, anything. Yeah. So the police, we go into the kitchen with the police. And he's like, oh, uh, the, what's your names? We need to take details from you. And then another policeman comes through the door and says, oh, the dogs have caught a scent of someone. Yeah, in the field behind. In the field behind the house. So all the policemen then go out. So it's just us then in the house. And that's when we're joking about our names and stuff. Okay. I don't know if this is significant, but when we were walking around the house with the police, that we were on, there's like a utility room that goes to a garage. And the light ran up across the... Yeah, no, no. We were trying to open the door, but it was budging, but it, was, it wasn't budging a lot. They were like, oh, it's, it's broken. But it was like something was holding it on the other side. Yeah. So we didn't, we didn't really say... At the time, we didn't realise yeah, that. Yeah, we didn't realise. Yeah. And we were in the kitchen being so dumb. So Lloyd had his hood up and his, he was covering his face like this. Because I didn't want anyone to see me. And I was like, oh, you don't want anyone to know you're Lloyd Boucher that lives at. And I yeah. just gave your full address. And then you were like, oh, you're Matthew Mosey that lives at. <laughs> and you gave my full address. And then um, we just, we saw this, this light run across, across the kitchen. And I feel like that's the door opening and it was a reflection of the light hitting the door and when the door was open and it was pushing the light across the kitchen. Yeah. And we were like, what was that noise? And then as soon as that happened, we heard a loud bang upstairs. Yeah. Then we heard loads of loud bangings. Bangings? Bangings. <laughs> I didn't hear them, I don't think. We all did because it just... I thought we ran after the first one. We didn't, no, no, no. Oh, I remember this now. Me and... Me and no, no, no. After the first one, we got a hockey stick. And was hitting it against the rail saying, is anyone up there? Come down. Really? Do you not remember? <laughs> no. So he had the hockey stick. He was going, doo, 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 come down. And then we heard loads of okay. bangings. And because we were right by the front door. We legged it out. You legged it out. And for some reason, stupid reason. I honestly, n no one should ever do this, by the way. Yeah. The dumbest decision I've ever made in my life, I reckon. I w ran back into the house. <laughs> Deeper, deep into the house and grabbed a knife <laughs> to protect myself. <laughs> I was never, never going to use it. I completely disagree with knife crimes yeah. and stuff. I was just really scared. Yeah. I so, don't feel like you have to explain that. I mean, if was, you're it's, in, it's, getting burgled. It's yeah. Like, it, like I just thought somebody else is in this house. Yeah. I want to stay strapped. Stay strapped. Don't say that ever again, please. <laughs> no, I just felt like I wanted to have something on me. Yeah, like I, me. Because if it was me in the kitchen, I, you're right. I should have just run right out of the house. Us, yeah. But because if it's just me alone in the kitchen with them, and they, they sounded like there were loads of them as well. Who knows what could happen? They they don't care about me, so I wanted to protect myself, and then. After I did that, I then ran outside and the the banging was getting louder. Like it was like someone was running downstairs. Ugh. So it felt like someone was right behind me because yeah. the way the front door is, is by the stairs. It was so loud. It felt like the footsteps were genuinely right behind me. And we got outside the house. I think was then already on, on the phone to the police again. Okay. And I, I remember walking outside the house going like, like, 
like a cold shower feeling like <gasps> Like I was literally like, oh, and I remember looking at the knife being like, what the fuck have I done? <laughs> like, why have I got a knife in my hand? I remember chucking it on the floor. And um, yeah, the the police came. And then as the police came, the dogs were barking on the neighbours. Like all the neighbours that keep their dogs in their garden. They would jump over the fence, wake up the dogs, the dog would bark. And it was it was like barking going down the, the houses. The so then the police were just like, oh, we'll try and find someone. And I remember this small car going around the roundabout loads, going five minutes later, coming back, going around the roundabout and like just continuously going up and down. And I spoke to the policeman. I was like, that car has been here loads. He's, he's obviously trying to pick them up. Yeah. The policeman gets in his car and follows the wrong car 30 <laughs> minutes down the road. <laughs> Like, oh jeez! I, I said to, and then it, he came back, and I was like, "Oh, what was that?" And he was like, "Oh, I followed the wrong car." <laughs> I was like, what the fuck? Um, and then that that really that freaked me out. Just the, the fact that someone was in there, but as well, I don't know why we we're, we're, we're stupid for this because that shut me up. Like I remember you drove me home, and I asked you and to like walk because I had my back door key yeah and I asked you to like go all the way all the, the way around the back of my house to get these <laughs> to get me in the house because I was terrified yeah I was actually really scared but four days later we went to uh should we say what it was we no. went we went to a primary school <laughs> oh wait 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 <laughs> to play football at it, night no 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 it's a it's a community park but in school hours the school uses it. Yeah. And then outside of school hours, anyone can use yeah. it. There's goals and stuff. Yeah. Uh, so <laughs> we, <laughs> we just went, went to, to a primary, primary school. school. <laughs> and it was really dark. Again, a really scary vibe to it. Like yeah. it was lights where your car was, but then you look into the school and it just got like eerily dark, super quick. Yeah. Uh, I just remember it being really, really spooky. Mm. And like we would sit... Like we had fun playing football and everything, but then after at like 1 a.m. or whatever, we'd, we were sat down and we were like, this is kind of a scary place. I remember it so well. So it was my football and it was Guion, you and me. And we were all about to get in your car and Guion kicks the football just into the darkness yeah. of the primary school. And I'm thinking like, I'm actually going to have to go in there and get the football. Yeah. Like. No one else is. No one else is going to do it. And you you turn your engine on. And I thought in a split second, like, if I run fast enough, I reckon I could meet your car. Is that gunshots? I don't know. It sounded... I don't know. Carry on. I thought I could meet your car when we get out. So I ran, picked up the football, and then hid in this huge porch to this school because it's a very old school. And the, the porch was, like, pitch black inside. Like, it was really, really long and pitch black. And I was just waiting there, like crouched down, just waiting there for ages, being like, why isn't, why haven't they got to me yet? Like, it's, surely you should only be five seconds extra because I wanted to like jump out and scare yeah. you. And then as I'm sat there with my football, I'm sort of thinking about what happened a week ago with the house story. Yeah. And it's, I'm just scaring myself, just thinking about it. And then I, I shit you not, I hear a twig break right behind me. Yeah. Like, and I just, do you remember me screaming? Yeah. Yeah, because I was fucking shitting myself. I was literally, <laughs> I, it was like a genuine like, ah, 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 someone's behind me, someone's behind me. And then I get to the car and Lloyd and Guion run around the corner going, ah, we got you. We got you so well. And I was like, oh, fuck's sake. And we get in the car and then Guion says something to me, like, because you and him are in the front of me and Guion at the back. And Guion says, how did you hear us? And I was like, what do you mean? He was like, well, your hero must be insane. And I was like, no, you were right next to me. Yeah. He was like, no, we, we hadn't even got to your side of the school yet. Yeah. And I'm thinking, no, something was behind me. Like some something broke the twig behind me. And then a few days later, we found out that that school had been, they, all the computers got stolen. It, the it had been robbed that night. That night, the computers got stolen and someone st tried to burn it, right? I don't know about that. 
It was like, I remember one of the whiteboards had been set on fire or something. The smart boards. Really? Oh, if you don't remember it, then maybe not. But I, that's what I thought the case was. Like someone tried burning it or something. I remember it got robbed. I didn't, I didn't remember. And my theory, because yeah. it's such a long porch. Like yeah. this is a really, really long porch. And it was pitch black. My theory is that someone was hiding in that porch while I was in there. Yeah. And the You thought, were hiding together. The thought of that. Oh. The thought of that freaks me out so much. Yeah. And it, it was also the week that we knew two people that had been held up by a knife and their phones had been taken. It was a really weird week of just like these serious and then crimes. nothing else happened for yeah. seven years. <laughs> but it's such a like, where we live is like a, such a nice... Mellow. Yeah. Nothing is happening. Yeah. I can see the Isle of Wight. Probably. Someone was t- telling me about how the Isle of Wight, there's a polar bear on the side. And you type it into Google, there's a, po- there's a huge polar bear on the cliffs. Really? Really nice. And I'm thinking, like, it's really caught my eye. I think I can see the polar bear from my house. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. I think it's time to end it. <laughs> <laughs> what do you want them to comment? Uh, green pillow. Wait, we've done that before. Yeah, we've done that before. Fucking hell. Uh, no, red jumpsuit. Suit. Suit. Just suit. Red suit. Red suit. Comment red suit if you've made it this far. At like the it, video. Yeah. Comment. Oh, you already said that. <laughs> like, comment, subscribe. And once Notifications again. Notifications on. Thank you so much for just always commenting and stuff. It, it makes me feel very, uh, a warm feeling inside. <laughs> very stiff over some comments. Shut up. Five star on Spotify, please. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. And we'll see you all in episode... How we, we said we wanted to make the outro short. Six. Yeah, no. yeah, we'll see you in episode eight. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye.